so we are in continuation with continuation of exercise 3c word problems we had done from 6 to 12 and now we shall continue number 13 to 20 okay so let's start without delay so that you can save less data a rectangular park has length 23 2 by 3 meter and breadth 16 2 by 3 meter you can see that they have given you both the data in mixed numbers okay so find the area of the park and you will know that when you are talking about a rectangle so a rectangle has length as well as breadth this is your length this is your breadth they have given both the length and the breadth and by now you know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth isn't it length into breadth so length into breadth means that the length just put the value of length and put the value of the breadth so is equal to the value of the length is 23 2 by 3 meter multiplied by 16 2 by 3 meter isn't it both when you are multiplying meter into meter no when you are multiplying meter meter into meter means you will get your answer in meter square isn't it meter square so area should always in meter square and when you solve this when you convert this into improper fraction 117 by 5 meter multiplied by convert it 16 3 is 48 plus 2 50 by 3 meter let's cancel okay so when you cancel 5 1 times 5 10 times okay while 3 39 times and when you multiply 39 into 10 you will get 390 meter square as the area of the rectangular park area means this this portion is the area of the rectangular park okay not the perimeter let's come to question number 14 less time if you get less time to study naturally you'll concentrate more i know it each of 40 identical boxes let's see 40 identical boxes one box two box three four similarly you have 40 identical boxes 40 boxes isn't it 40 weighs 4 4 by 5 kg so this 4 4 by 5 kg weight is of each means one box no so let me write let me write weight of one box weight of one box is equal to 4 4 by 5 kg is the weight of one box find the total weight of all the boxes how many boxes were there so there were 40 boxes therefore weight of 40 boxes will be equal to 40 times 40 times 4 4 by 5 kg so you now let's solve it 40 multiplied by 24 by 5 it cancels 5 8 times when you multiply 8 into 24 you will get 192 kg as your solution i hope these are very easy and you can continue the other sums in by yourself out of 24 kg of wheat 
remember the data 24 kg of wheat out of 24 kg 5 by 6 of wheat many of you people make mistake you write how much wheat is consumed you only write 5 by 6 no sir it is 5 by 6 so let us write total quantity of wheat total quantity of wheat is equal to 24 kg now how much wheat is consumed consumed means used up consumed means used up so how much you have used used up used up or consumed okay consumed is equal to 5 by 6 not 5 by 6 5 by 6 of 24 kg this is where you people make mistakes okay so 5 by 6 of 24 kg will be equal to let's cancel 6 1 times 6 4 times is equal to 5 into 4 20 kg is the wheat you have used up so when you have used up 20 kg so remaining wheat is how much remaining wheat or quantity of remaining wheat is equal to 24 was the total weight minus 20 kg will be equal to 20 is will be equal to 4 kg wheat will be left isn't it 4 kg wheat will be left after using 5 by 6 of 24 kg you can do it by other method also but remember that the format should be somewhat same okay a rod of length 2 2 by 5 meter is divided into 5 equal parts so they have given you a rod okay and the length of the rod AB is 2 2 by 5 meter it is given 2 2 by 5 meter is the length of the rod and you are dividing into 5 equal parts isn't it 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 I am dividing it into 5 equal parts so find the length of each part how to do it let's see total length of rod I'll write like this your presentation matters total length of rod is equal to 2 2 by 5 meter now length of rod is divided into five equal parts okay you need to write in this way therefore length of each part I said your presentation matters is equal to 2 2 by 5 divided by 5 means 5 times less divided by 5 means 5 times less is equal to 5 to the 10 11 12 by 5 divided by 5 this can be written as 12 by 5 it is divided by 5 divided by 5 means divided by 5 by 1 or multiplied by 1 by 5 so when you cancel when you solve it you'll get 12 by 25 meter your value will be in meter now in order to get a smaller unit a smaller unit let's convert this meter into centimeter so when I'll convert this into centimeter you will get 12 by 25 multiplied by 100 centimeter and after cancellation 25 4 times you will get 12 fours are 48 centimeter as your final answer clear 
Let's come to number 17. We have more three sums. If A is equal to 3, 3 by 8 and B is equal to 6, 5 by 8, find the value of A divided by B. So what I'm going to do is I'll solve both the values separately. Isn't it? A divided by A divided by B and here B divided by A. So A is how much? A is your 3, 3 by 8 divided by 6, 5 by 8. Hmm? No. And here, 6, 5 by 8 divided by 3, 3 by 8. So here we have two sums and we'll find that is A divided by B equal to B divided by A or not. Okay, so 3, 3 by 8 means 27 by 8 divided by 6 is 48 plus 5, 53 by 8 and here 53 by 8 divided by 27 by 8, 27 by 8, I am going to change this division into multiplication therefore 8 by 53 on cancellation what I find is equal to 27 by 53 let's see you over here now 53 by 8 multiplied by 8 by 27 and after cancellation, what I find is 20, 53 by 27 is equal to 53 by 27. You can convert this into mixed value is equal to 126 by 27 as your final answer. Now, Question number 18. See, if, since uh, the question is already given over here, so I am spending less time. And you people are also taking interest. So, cost of 3, 3 by 5 liter of oil is this much. Find the cost of 1 liter of oil. Is the, it is like the same thing. When you say cost of 10 mango is equal to 50, find the cost of 1 mango. The 50 divided by 10. Simple. So, cost of... Cost of... 3, 5 by 7 liter of oil is rupees how much? 83, 1 by 2. Therefore, cost of 1 liter of oil will be equal to naturally 3, 5 by 7 times less is equal to once again 3 5 by 7 times less means 83 and a half divided by 3 5 by 7 is equal to 83 1 by 2 is equal to 167 by 2 divided by 7 3 is 21 plus 5 26 by 7 is equal to 167 by 2 I am going to change this division into multiplication is equal to 7 by 26 is equal to shall we cancel it I don't think that they will get cancelled however let's multiply 167 into 7 you will get 1 you will get 1169 and this 52 will be equal to 22 25 by 52 when you get it converted into mixed value so the cost of one liter will be equal to rupees if you do not mention the unit you will be in problem see over here no unit was there so I didn't mention any unit but when unit is concerned you have to put the unit otherwise marks will be deducted okay not maybe will be
number 19 the product of two number is this much so as I said the product of two numbers you can make uh, two boxes and can mention that product of two numbers is equal to 25 by 7 one of the number is given 6 2 by 3 so one of the number is given 6 2 by 3 while the other number x is not given so before you start writing you can mention it in this way let let the number be x okay let the other number let the other number you can write mention here other other number be x so when on multiplication you get 20 by 5 therefore the value of x will be equal to how much 20 5 by 7 divided by 6 2 by 3 I am transposing this on the other side so when I am transposing it on the other side the multiplication it is in multiplication with x on the other side it changes to division form therefore the value of x will be equal to now 25 by 7 so 25 by 7 is equal to how much is equal to 145 by 7 divided by 6 2 by 3 that is 20 by 3 and uh, now let me see if it gets cancelled how can I, can I cancel without changing this into multiplication form so 145 by 7 multiplied by 3 by 20 let's see if I can get any number which can cancel 5 4 times 20 and 5 29 times isn't it is equal to 145 now I do not think that they will get cancelled so 29 into 3 is equal to 87 7 4 times 28 this is an improper fraction and you can change it into mixed value that is 3 3 by 28 as a, as your final answer no unit is mentioned so I will not put any unit number 20 the last one by what number should 5 5 by 6 be multiplied okay Have, look by what number so let the number be x let the number b x so i am going to multiply 5 5 by 6 by this x okay x to get 3 1 by 3 so that my value will be 3 1 by 3 try try to understand the word problems isn't it it is just english language nothing else by what number should 5 5 by 6 be multiplied so let me multiply 5 5 by 6 into x by x so that finally I'll get 3 1 by 3 therefore the value of x will be equal to how much right now I solve it 3 1 by 3 divided by this is in multiplication form 5 5 by 6 now you know how to solve it 3 3 the 9 10 by 3 divided by 35 6 5 is 30 plus 5 35 by 6 let me change this division into multiplication therefore I have to convert this into its reciprocal 6 by 35 now 5 2 times 10 okay and 5 7 times 35 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 is equal to 4 by 7 I find that this is already an, um, uh, a proper fraction so I need to change this into mixed value I said, lastly the most important thing is thank you for studying 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 God bless you all. Bye.